we can definitely graph this thing. However, you know, I'm so tempted to just stick to my normal strategy in these kinds of situations, plug points into equations. It's so obvious that it's going to work. I have an equation, h of x equals 4x plus 28, and I have two points. They're asking for them, and they're really easy points to work with because they both involve a zero. So I would just take them and plug them in. So if I plugged in um, the a point, I would have zero as my y equals 4 times a plus 28. I'd subtract 28 from both sides. Negative 28 is equal to 4a, divide by 4, and I get that a is equal to negative 7. So mission accomplished for at least the first half. Then for the second part, take that second point, and zero uh, is x, so b, ooh, ugly b, is equal to four times zero plus 28, so b is equal to zero plus 28, so b is 28. And now I can just add those two numbers, negative seven plus 28 is 21, choice a. That's it. So look, yeah, you gotta do some algebra, but this is still a good example of something that you should be training yourself for even if you do default to the graph. That's okay, I'm, I'm okay with using the calculator, but I do think you should be able to quickly look at a question and know if the plug points into equation strategy is viable, okay? If it's something you could do. You, maybe it's not the most efficient, but you really wanna train your brain to notice when you've got points, when you've got equations, so that way you know you've always got that as a backup in those cases. If you were to graph it, well, they specifically tell us that these are the x and y intercepts, so we can just take h of x equals 4x plus 28 and graph it. The only change I made here is I got rid of the h of x because it's just easier to enter it as y, but it's still the same thing. And now I can see, well, there's my x-intercept. It just appears in the normal uh, piece here. So that's the negative 7, 0. So that's the a being negative 7. And then I've got to scroll to find the y-intercept, but luckily it's up here. And I can just tap that as well, and it gives me the 28. So b is 28, and we would still get the same thing, 21. So look, the graph, yeah, oop, probably easier. But, you know, like I said, you, you don't always, when you're practicing, want to go for efficiency. You want to practice using strategies that might not be the most efficient because you want to strengthen that muscle so that when the time comes, when you really do need the strategy, you're ready to go. So that might mean on some things that are, you know, maybe easy to do in other ways, you still want to think strategically so that you're building that skill for when it really counts.